Hi guys, welcome to another Funza Academy video. In this session, we will look at a method to rapidly find the square of numbers. Let me show you what I mean. Can you tell me what is 14 square? You have 5 seconds to give your answer, please. Time's up. Was that easy? Okay, let's try another question. What is 996 square? If you got the answer in 5 seconds, that was fantastic. Congratulations. If you did not, do continue watching. The goal of this video is to help you find answers to these questions in just a few seconds. And with a bit of practice, I can promise you that you will be able to do these calculations mentally. So, are you ready? Let's begin. In this video, we will look at squaring numbers close to 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, etc. Please make a note of this. Here is our first example. What is the square of 94? As you can see, 94 is close to 100, which we will call our base number. The first question you need to ask is, how close? 94 is 6 less than 100. Now we do two things. Since 94 is less than our base, we reduce it by the deficit. 94 minus 6 is 88. We then multiply this result by the base. 88 times 100 is 8800. We then find the square of the deficit. 6 square is 36. Now to get our final answer, all we do is add both results. 8800 plus 36 is 8000. 836, which is our final answer. Let's try another example to reinforce the concept. What is 92 square? We first find our base. 92 is close to 100, so our base is 100. We then find the deficit. 92 is 8 less than 100, so our deficit is 8. Now since 92 is less than our base, we reduce it further by the deficit. So, 92 minus 8 is 84. We then multiply this result with our base. 84 times 100 is 8400. We then square the deficit. 8 square is 64. And finally, we add both results. 8400 plus 64 is 8464, our final answer. At this point, if you have understood the concept, please pause the video and try out this problem. Did you come right with that problem, guys? I'm sure you did. Okay, let's move on to our next example. What is the square of 103? We first find out the base. 103 is close to 100, so our base is 100 yet again. We then find the deficit. 103 is 3 more than 100. So our deficit is 3. Now since 103 is more than the base, we add the deficit to it. Please make a note of this. So 103 plus 3 is 106. We then multiply this result with our base. 106 times 100 is 10,600. We then square the deficit. 3 square is 9. And finally, we add both results. 10,600 plus 9 is 10,609 our final answer? Now that you have grasped the concepts, let's try squaring a bigger number. What's the square of 997? So then, what's our base? 1000? Yes, I would agree. What's the deficit? It's 3, right? Since 997 is less than the base, we subtract the deficit. So 997 minus 3 is 994. We then multiply this result with 1000, our base. 994 times 1000 is 994000 or 994000. We then square the deficit. 3 squared is 9. And finally, we add both results. 994000 plus 9 gives us 994009, our final answer. Now guys, imagine if you had to solve this problem using the conventional method. It would surely take much longer, wouldn't it? Okay, since this concept is fresh in your mind, please pause the video and try 
two more examples. Alright, thanks for attempting these exercises. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments section. I now wish to discuss one last point before concluding. I mentioned at the beginning that this method could be used to square numbers close to 10, 100, 1000, etc. So how close is close? Let me demonstrate. What is 56 square? Okay, 56 is close to 100, which is our base. The deficit is 100 minus 56, which is 44. As before, we subtract the deficit from our number, since it's less than the base. 56 minus 44 is 12. We then multiply this result with our base. 12 times 100 is 1200. So far so good. We then need to square our deficit, but our deficit is 44. So what is 44 times 44? This isn't easy, right? So, as a rule of thumb, when you're using this method, please ensure that the deficits are small enough so that you can square them mentally. But hey, wait a minute you say, is there a quicker way to find the square of 56? Yes, there is and I will discuss this method in another video. So this brings us to the end of this session. Please give us a thumbs up if you found it useful and do send us comments and questions. We would love to hear from you. Thanks a lot guys and bye for now.